Ponch Grog is fine if you like cheap moonshine. Give me an Erdebrown Lager and I'm good. Always listen to Delgado. And now, may uh, want to look into some armor upgrades first. The right gear would be the difference between life or death. Stay safe out there. Weapons, ammo, mods, whatever you need. Well, well. Neva's new hotshot. <laughs> I knew you'd find your way back to my little corner of the key. Everyone always does. Hey, if you want to pour credits into my pocket, you won't hear any arguments from me. I carry most of the standard hardware, you know, kinetics, electromags, energy, even a few explosives. Occasionally, I stock a few smuggled items. Basically the stuff Sysdev doesn't want you to play with. Just don't screw me over or I'll be inclined to give you a free demo. With your head as the target. We all have <coughs> trust issues here. A little advice, Sadiqui? The fleet's trust can't be bought. You earn it. You bleed for the fleet, the fleet bleeds for you. Pure and simple. Anyone who says otherwise is either lying or getting ready to stab you in the back. Well, that was surprisingly easy. Most people just glaze over and learn the hard way. Uh, maybe there's more to you than I thought. Whatever you need. As long as you can afford it. Need more weapons or ammo? Come see me. I hope you actually need components. I hate wasting my time. All right, make it quick. I've got schematics to organize. Just make it quick. They're done here? Great. Last week, we may not have official security on the key, but we're always <laughs> looking out for traders. I see a flash of light, and it drops in right behind me. By the time I realized what happened, it caught me on a missile lock. I was dead. The only thing I could, I put everything into my engine. I hope you came with credits. If it's hard to find, i have probably got it. Hey, I'm always ready to take credits off your hands.
Always a pleasure. Let's see what we have now. What'll it be, friend? Buying, selling? The Trade Authority takes anything and everything. The fleet's got an impressive commerce system. They even managed a legitimate doctor among their ranks. Business on the key is like no other. It's the sole reason I'm here. For the credits. Not everyone thinks so. I'm still Trade Authority, not a part of the fleet. There are a few, Neva included, that see me as an outsider. Regardless, as long as the fleet has goods to push, the Trade Authority will always maintain a presence on the key. I was hoping you'd say that. Your credits are always good at the Trade Authority. Too many missions, not enough time. <coughs> Need something? Nothing like the smell of a dead shark. About time you got here. I told you you were wasting your time, Del. I hate surprises. Just do what I say, and you might even walk away from this without turning into a goddamn ice sculpture. 
and Mathis, I am running things around here, so keep your mouth shut. You got that? <laughs> Fine. All right. Listen up, because I am only going to go through this once. We are here to dig up any info about Grix's legacy. We are not here to scrap for loot. Whatever you pick up, don't think, don't get creative, bring it straight to me. <coughs> it's so simple, even a rook like you can't screw it up. Hold on, no scrapping? How the hell am I supposed to make money around here? All right, that's enough. If either of you want to fly with the Crimson Fleet, then you need to follow one simple rule. When you're on a job, you do exactly what I say. No questions asked. If that doesn't work for you, just say so, and I will leave you on this ice ball without a ship. You will be dead within hours. Yeah, yeah. We have a lot of ground to cover between the landing area and the lock, so let's get moving. Here we are. The place where Jasper Griggs laid the groundwork for finding the legacy, and eventually, the Crimson Fleet. The Lock. Yeah, he needs to get this thing open like, right now. It's freezing out here. Then crank up your suit heat, Mathis, because it's probably not going to get much better once we are inside. All right, let's keep moving. Standing out here isn't doing us any good. This ID card cost a small fortune. Let's hope it pays off. <laughs> we are in. Let's go.
First time I have been inside this part of the lock, so keep your eyes open. See anything unusual? Call it out. If it's hostile, take it down. Remember that. Now, keep your mouth shut and your eyes open. them to a cell block. Could you imagine being stuck under a ton of ice like this for the rest of your life? Yeah, sure. Must have been awful. Better them than us, though, am I right? Wait, shut up a second! Did you hear that? What? I bet these things are crawling all over the place. Yeah, and their bodies probably heard us firing from about a kilometer away. Hallelujah. If we weren't on this job with Delgado, I'd drop you for saying that. Enough already! I should have known better than to bring both of you at the same time. Now let's see. Looks like we are inside some sort of prisoner transfer area, but everything is locked down tight. Since you are such good friends, why don't you and Mathis head up to that control room and see if you can get some more of these doors open? This is just great. The hell are we supposed to do now? Whew. Yeah. You're right. Now that I think about it, this gives me an idea. A, a way we could turn this situation to our advantage. We use this opportunity to take out Delgado, and at the same time, make some serious credits for ourselves. 
Whoa, whoa, hang on. G g give me a second to explain. Let's pretend for a second Delgado's correct. And there's information here about Crix's legacy. Once we get rid of him, we'll dig up the garbage ourselves and sell whatever we find to Neva. We'll be rolling in credits. No, 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 no way. Listen to me. We're going to be handing Neva leadership of the Crimson Fleet on a platter. She'll be thanking us for getting rid of Delgado. I mean, come on. I'll bet you a month's share that he's never been this vulnerable. It's perfect. Oh, fine. Suit yourself. You know, for a second there, I was almost starting to respect you. Now, let's find a way out of here. Things are crawling right behind the walls. Ugh.
So, have you changed your mind yet? Yeah, right. You saw it back there. Those things, whatever they were, they've probably ripped him to shreds by now. Did the job for us. And if they haven't, we can still handle the job. We just have to get our hands a little dirty. Wouldn't be the first time, am I right? Of all the people to get trapped here with, why the hell did I get stuck with you, huh? Fine, have it your way. So, now that we've made it to the guard tower, what's our next move, genius? Been in a few slams yourself, I see. Okay, I'll follow your lead.
You barely even count its target practice! Imagine how angry the prisoners were when they rioted. I would hate. Cell D-03118. Okay. It's a place to start, I guess. sweep of the place and came up with two mining lasers and several power packs missing. After the alarm was raised, all of the inmate cells were searched, but we turned up empty-handed. I have no idea how the inmates were able to get into that storage room and hide that gear without being picked up on camera. I'm starting to suspect that the inmates could be receiving help from some of the staff of this facility.
that the latest code to the utility room is 48611071. The mining crew tells me it'll take them a week to cut through the ice, so I'm giving you that long to square your end of the plan. When the tunnel reaches the armory, I'll get my people to start a riot. When you hear the fireworks go off, get your ass to the shuttle bay. Get one shot at this time. If we play our cards right, this gets us one step closer to that fortune that went down with the legacy. You report any of this to the guards. Well, you know what will happen. UC must have burned some serious cash when they lost this place. place out. Well, well, what do we have here? Uh, give me a sec. This sort of come in handy. All right, let's keep moving.
can't believe this is where the fleet started. It's history, man. Blows me mind. Looks like this was the warden's office. They built the office right next to the shuttle bay for quick escapes, I bet. something because I am getting sick and tired of this place. I knew it! Everyone said I was out of my mind, but something told me we'd find the answers down here. Looks like I picked the right person for the job. Hey, what the hell? This is bullshit, Delgado. I help plenty. Is that Mathis? Tell him to shut up. I will deal with him later. Whatever. Okay. Now all we have to do is find a way off of this planet. Um, let me see. Ah, here we go. I'm looking at schematics for the lock. And I don't think there's a way to get you back to the surface from there. But I can open the outer doors to the shuttle bay and let you fly one of the shuttles down there directly up to the key. Good answer. You're learning fast. Okay. Let me see. One of these probably opens the door. Shuttle bay activated. Initiating the icing process. Please stand by. Yup. That's got it. Might take a while, though. Those bay doors have not been opened in almost a century. You have done a hell of a job, Rook. We will talk when you get back to the key.
Why the hell did you lie to Delgado about me? You didn't do all this work alone. Hey, come on. I was just looking out for both of us. I could have caught you out of the deal, but I didn't, right? Look, um, about all that killing Delgado stuff, why don't we just forget about everything that I said? You know, like it never happened. Yeah, yeah, of course, don't worry, I'm good for it. Now, let's get the heck out of here. Warden Tom Gillespie. Authorization 12210. This is likely to be my final log recording. The riots that started in D block have spilled into A, B, and C blocks. I've ordered everyone to fall back to the shuttle bay for evacuation. It was prisoner D03118, Jasper Cricks, who led the revolt. His crew tunneled into the armory undetected. And then all hell broke loose. the locks recovered, I urged the UC authorities to perform a full investigation. Cricks undoubtedly had help from the guards and the
looking to start something? Because I'll finish it. If you need credits, hit up the mission boards at the core. Need some medical assistance? First time visiting the infirmary, huh? Let me give you a piece of advice. Try not to get into too many bar fights. I'm trying to save my dwindling supplies for sale and pirates coming in off of raids. <laughs> That's what they all say, until they stumble in bleeding out on my floor. So here's what's what. You need med packs, curatives, preventatives, I've got you covered. At least as long as my current supply holds out. You need enhancers, legal or illegal? I've got those too. Hopefully that won't be often. Now, if you don't need anything else, I've got a particularly annoying supply issue to deal with. Well, let's see what we're dealing with. You pick a fight with a terror morph? Let's get everything back into place. Try not to squirm. You might make it worse. All patched up, for now. Be careful. I don't have endless supplies, you know. Yeah? Piracy missions are always a healthy source of income. What the hell took you so long? It's about time. I was about to fly down and loot your bodies. Not now, neighbor. Well, you said you found something. Hand it over. Oh, excuse me. Forgive my impertinence. What I meant to say was... Give me whatever you found right now, before I blow your goddamn head off. Please. Just cut the crap and give them what you found. That's it? Just one slate. After losing so much of our crew, it better be a map with a big red X on it. Well, I'll be damned. Legacy wasn't referring to Crix's fortune. It's the name of an actual ship. A Galbank transport probably loaded with credits. Never heard any stories about a Galbank ship going down. And even if it had happened, it would have been picked clean years ago. No, neighbor. Think. If Galbank covered it up, and over time, the location was eventually forgotten, it wouldn't be on anyone's radar. Okay, this changes things. Now that we know what we are looking for, we have to narrow the search. Well, that is not necessarily true. Let us start with what we know. It was a Galbank ship, which means the company is going to have records of where it went down. Neva, weren't you working on a deal with Rokov? Something about a... Big wig charity event on one of Trident Starliners? Are you serious? I've been working on that gig for three months. That's my score. Ay Dios mío. Will you shut up about your score and think for a second? That Starliner has a Galbank VIP suite aboard. Which means... Come on, Neva. This isn't hard. Which means a Galbank exec will be aboard. We grab their credentials and get ourselves into the Galbank archives in New Atlantis. Holy shit, that might actually work. Oh, I'll send a message to Rokov right away. Pack your bags, Rook. You're going on vacation. And since you've earned it, take this gun with you. Might come in handy when Rokov screws everything up as usual.
Good, because that is exactly what you are going to be doing. Neighbor and I are too well known to walk around the Starliner without being recognized. If Trident Security spotted us, it'd be over. I need you to board that ship, make contact with Rokoff, and get me those credentials. You'd better. Oh, before you leave, I wanted you to know that I took what you said about Mathis into consideration, and I've decided to cut him from the fleet. Honestly, I'm surprised he made it off Suvorov in one piece. We'll see. That's it then. Next stop for you is Rokov Starliner, the Siren of the Stars. And remember, Rokov does not need to know anything about Grix's legacy. For now, it's just between us. Now get out of here. Hey, Rook, before you head out, I need to have a word with you. Meet me at the last Nova after you wrap things up with Mathis. I want to talk to you. Thanks to you, Delgado's cut me from the fleet. Well, you know what? You better get your own fleet, because I'm coming after you. Oh, I see. You think you're some kind of big shot, is that it? Gonna show poor Mathis a little mercy now that you're Delgado's best buddy, yeah? Well, guess what? Your generosity is getting me kicked off the key. And that means you better watch your back. I stayed to give you a message that you better start looking over your shoulder. You'll never know when I'll be right behind you, ready to pull the trigger. Now get the hell out of me way! been lining up a score with that asshole Rokoff on the Siren of the Stars for months. I'm not about to let a payday slip through my fingers. So guess what? You're gonna finish the job for me. instead of trawling deep space for stick change, we got a much... I'm about to tell you, so shut up and listen. Rokoff's been tipping me off about some kind of bullshit charity event that the Siren of the Stars is hosting. At the event... They're gonna give away something called the Earth Savior Award, which is worth tens of thousands of credits. So it's simple. While you're on the siren, swiping those Gal Bank credentials, I want you to grab that award and bring it to me. No. Dombrowski's only aboard to use the Gal Bank VIP suite, so he can catch a free ride at the company's expense. I'm sure he'll be there partying with the other spoiled brats. But I can guarantee he doesn't give a crap about what's going on at the event. And I'd prefer to have the money that award's worth in my account. So you're just gonna have to deal with it. Look, you can make all the jokes and excuses you want. But if you don't come back with the ES award, I'm gonna deduct it from your pay. Either way, I get my money. How much you walk away with is in your own hands. Got it? Then it's settled. 
Good. All right, Rook, we're done here. Now, get your ass to the siren and bring me my goods. <laughs> <laughs>